uh, welcome to college online and in this video uh, we will learn how to increase the scale value in x-axis independently and in y-axis independently to do that you must first uh, uh, create a block of your object so what is a block in AutoCAD block is the combination of more than one objects and by the help of which we can move the whole set of objects as a single object so first of all we will learn how to create a block so to create a block I will move these dimensions away from my model with the help of move command now to convert this 2d model which is separately created by the help of these single individual lines I will use B for block command I will type B and then press enter a dialog box will be opened in front of your screen uh, what you have to do is first of all uh, assign a name to this block I will name it as a door one after that the objects that are to be included in my block object uh, I will press this button select objects and then I will select all the objects that uh, I want to be in my block and then after selection I will press enter and after pressing enter I will specify a pick point so what is a pick point a pick point is basically a point where whenever I am inserting my block in my file that block object will be on my that point so this point is what I'm going to specify as a pick point and then after that press OK now I have created my block object so when you hover your mouse over your uh, block object now you can see there is a small dot that shows that this is a, my pick point and this whole object is a single block so in the second phase that was phase one now in the second phase uh, you have to perform some calculations what kind of a calculation I have just uh, created a formula for that that is required by the current distance and the percentage that comes after this calculation will be entered in another command that is called insert command and the ratio of scaling either it is decreased or increased that value will be entered in x-axis or in y-axis on the required conditions or we can say on the uh, on the basis of required situation so for example uh, there here we have a dimension uh, 3 feet 6 inches x-axis and in y-axis we have this door 7 feet so I am in uh, I need this door to be only stretched uh, 5 feet not in uh, y-axis but only in x-axis so what I should do is I will draw a rectangle by the help of rectangle command by typing shift at the rate and uh, x axis value first of all I will type x axis value 5 feet comma and then y axis value 7 feet now this is my required dimension uh, where I want to fit this door in these dimensions so I will type DLI and click on these two points and then one point another point now the formula is required by the uh, required divided by current so I will type CAL calculator command in AutoCAD and then after that I will type 5 feet divided by 3 feet 6 inches enter so this is our result 1.428 the x-axis value or the percent of scaling 
and also I will calculate the y-axis value. Let's just suppose that I have the same I have the same door with different y-axis dimension. Uh, let us create an, another rectangle by help of rectangle command and I will type shift at the rate to specify the x-axis and y-axis dimension. So x-axis value will be 5 feet and y-axis value should be 8 feet. Now we have this another uh, situation where we have a different x-axis value and different y-axis value. So I have also I have to also calculate the y-axis percent or uh, scale uh, value uh, so that it should uh, fit the required uh, destination of my block object. So first of all I will calculate the y-axis value for my uh, door. So I will again type calculate command and type 7 feet uh, my required is 8 feet and divided by my current value that is 7 feet and the value that comes is 1.142 okay so what I am going to do is that I will now use insert command remember both the values by writing somewhere on your desk on the paper or in a page so now I have to use the insert command I will type I enter and you will be uh, displayed by this dialog box a dialog box will be displayed on your screen and the current or latest block which you have created uh, just uh, right now the that will be in front of you in the list you have to select from the drop down uh, your current uh, block or we can say door and then I will enter the values of my x-axis and y-axis so type 1.428 and for my y-axis 1.142 and then press ok you will be seeing that I have just stretched my block and I now I can place my door object in the required location so hopefully uh, this question which I was asked by some uh, friend in comments that how to use uh, scale command in separate x-axis and y-axis directions so by the help of a block command and by using uh, insert command and after also by performing some calculations with respect to x-axis and y-axis on the basis of uh, current and the required uh, distance or dimensions or values uh, after performing these calculations now we can uh, use these values to fix my door accurately in my required location.